today is well it's gonna be a weekend vlog but you guys I'm so sorry I can't stop looking at myself because when is the last time have you guys seen like real color makeup on me like look you guys isn't this so pretty for pride I am just so happy with how this turned out oh my god what do we need to start uploading on the beauty channel or like what I was planning on uploading it on the beauty channel this week I guess I'm gonna go through with it because I kind of miss doing makeup okay anyway so my brother is on his way here um we're about to go to juicy cray i didn't show you guys my outfit the outfit of the day i have this cute little tie top it's like a floral print from forever 21 and then i have these um bermuda shorts i guess they are called these are from tarjay and then i have on these sandals that i showed you guys i bought when lorraine was here i got them from Macy's. I want to show you guys something else that I think is really cool. Do you guys see like I'm getting a dip in my back? Isn't that just yes. Can you guys see it or no? Or am I tripping? Yes, you see that. You see the dip. Am I tripping? Am I doing too much? I'm, I'm doing way too much. But anyway, we're about to go to Juicy Crab. He hasn't been to Juicy Crab before so it's his first time. Y'all know I'm an OG Juicy Crab person so yeah. Anyway, basically this is going to be a vlog documenting what I eat on the weekends because I don't participate in diet culture. A lot of you just may have the misconception that I just binge eat and do whatever like on the weekends because it's the weekend. But the beautiful thing about food freedom is that I don't necessarily have an urge to binge eat because I always eat whatever the heck I want so this is gonna be documenting that going to Juicy Crab it's probably gonna be a one meal type of a day I'm probably just gonna snack and then tomorrow of course me and Bear are gonna get out and try some things in the new area that we moved into but first but first I have to show you guys this something that I'm so obsessed with and I'm so happy to have it in my house I'll be eating it later with you guys but I need to show it to you. All right, so coming over here to the kitchen, you will see this beautiful box. On the box, it says Revolution Donuts, okay? Okay, but when you open the box, that's where the, that's where the magic is. Listen, listen, y'all. I know these donuts may not even look all that. They may actually look kind of boring and dry, but when I tell you that these are some of the best donuts that I've had, I've only had it one time. It was last weekend. The donut that I had isn't even in this box, but Bears already ate one. The one that he ate was this one, which is like a fruity, I think it's called fruity cereal. This is baking caramel, and this is uh, blueberry lavender or blueberry basil. And these three are mine, and those two are bears. He had another donut here. But I have been obsessed with Revolution Donuts ever since I had them last week. It's all I've been thinking about since then, and it's just, just may turn into a weekend thing. I wish that bear would ask them how long these donuts last, because see, the last time I only got three donuts, and I will admit, I ate them all in one day. <laughs> um, I would like to spread these out, but they're also baked fresh, and I don't want them to get stale or anything but yeah when I do enjoy these beautiful donuts of course I would do so with you guys I also just want to yes lighting this is exactly what I wanted to do get a great view of my face in the light look y'all okay okay I got to get with the beauty channel because this is just too much I want to show you guys the palette that I use <sighs> beauty channel Oh, I thought that was my brother. <laughs> anyway, here, it's the Moira Dreamscape um, palette that I got from Beauty Supply the other day. That's it. Y'all know what this is, and y'all know that we do Juicy Crab. Are you excited about your Juicy Crab? I am. I'm really hungry in this shit. Take a picture, it's like I'm eating. <laughs> I told you to put the rice in. Put the rice in the bag and then eat it. You dump it in there? Yes, and, and smush it around. You will thank me later, I promise. Yes, get it. Make sure you get all in that juice. And then take a bite of it. And tell me it's not the best thing. What is the shell on the shrimp? I know, that's why I said we took the shell. We took the shrimp and we shelled it first before we ate it, but it takes too long. Yes, it's shell on it. <laughs>
Taran, 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 taran. <laughs> so I'm about to go ahead and have a donut. I'm going to try the blue. Some donuts is missing, y'all. Mm. I'm going to try the um, blueberry basil. And I have absolute faith that this is going to be good because Revolution Donuts doesn't let me down. I'm kind of nervous about it being basil, though. Like, blueberry basil. Ah, ah. Okay, that was weird. Mm. I don't know if I taste basil. I taste blueberry for sure. I mean, it's a pretty solid donut. I just don't know if I taste basil. But yeah, so... So this concludes the Saturday portion of the What I Eat In A Day video. Y'all hear Bash coughing? So I know I already vlogged about this, but you guys, I cannot stress enough how good this stuff is. Um, me and Bear are about to go to the gym. It's actually my rest day because I did a heavy day yesterday and the day before. So I'm just going to do some cardio. And I'm not going to take any pre-workout today because I usually don't go to the gym after I've eaten. So since I've eaten and I'm just doing cardio, I don't really think I need the extra boost that pre-workout gives me. So I'm just going to take this, but again this is so good like y'all i've never had any supplement pre-workout bcaa nothing that tastes this good like this tastes like some freaking peach um kool-aid or like lemonade it's really really good and i really really suggest you try some um the pre-workout that they have is good but it's not as good as this bcaa powder the pre-workout kind of has like a taste that they all have like it's kind of like a funny taste but this this is amazing like I just drink this and I'm just enjoying myself as if I'm drinking a glass of lemonade or something while I'm at the gym. So check this out if you get a chance. One love, y'all, because we're together. United, baby. Under one roof. Come on. In a house. A house of sounds. It's one love, y'all. Forever and ever. We are free. We are love. We're round. We're skinny. We're big, we're small, but we have love in our heart, and we want you in, as long as you bring the love. to go eat and have dinner our Sunday dinner as you guys saw we had breakfast earlier and then we went to the gym and got a good workout in we went to go help some family members move some stuff and now we're going to go ahead and have dinner so I just want to check in with you guys and see and show you guys that on the weekend I'm just not come all over the place it's actually how I am every day with the exception of eating out um we didn't eat out yesterday did we eat I can't even remember we ate yesterday the only difference is on the weekends that we typically eat out more because it gives us something to do but that's pretty much it like and usually when I eat out it's one meal a day as you guys saw only because it they give you a lot of food and I'm just not really hungry um and I also try to go to the gym on the days that I eat out even if I just do cardio like today I tried to show you guys with my pitiful attempt at recording myself in the gym I hope I can get better because it's just not gonna cut it I'm still kind of self-conscious about um I'm still kind of self-conscious about recording myself in the gym, which is the truth. I like, it looks weird. It's, I don't want people looking at me. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to go grab dinner. I just wanted to come in and make sure that you guys knew that this is usually how intuitive eating works. When you have a huge meal, which is usually when I eat out, 
Um, that's it. Not really hungry. Also, when you intermittent fast, the reason intermittent fasting helps is for that reason too. I, I, I've told you guys before that I participate in intermittent fasting because I just don't. I'm not hungry when I first get up, and also it allows me to enjoy enjoy bigger meals. Like I like to eat bigger meals and not smaller meals. So just again. Something that is just kind of catered to me. I like to eat bigger meals and also I like to eat later in the day. So that's why intermittent fasting is a part of my life. But yeah, so this is just me checking in and I'll see you guys at dinner. Look y'all, look what look what Bear done sat here and ordered. Bear. Don't tell that long. <laughs> y'all, this looks so freaking good. But see, I see my food. This is just the appetizer. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Look at Bear over here with some doggone soup. Who eats soup with a brisket sandwich? I do. Of course. You ain't never met a nigga Bear. What? What'd you say? <laughs> Y'all, this is way too much food. Like, I'm full off the doggone appetizer. We did eat it all. So like I don't I don't even know where this is gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys what I have after my attempt of eating this. Okay, so like I said, we I, we didn't do nothing. Those are my onion rings. I didn't want y'all to be like she ate all the onion rings. I did not. I did not. I gave them to Bear. I had like three of them. And this is me. I have a whole entire hot dog left and like half of one. So I ate half of a hot dog and like two onion rings or maybe three. But that's it, and I'm very, very full. Cool. All right, so we are back home. This does wrap it up for us. I just want to come and express to you guys like how it feels so good to be able like to go out to restaurants, new restaurants. We hadn't been to the place that we just showed you guys and like try new foods and just enjoy each other's company and have a good time and not really be so focused on what am I eating? Oh my God, I shouldn't be eating this. Oh my God, I don't need this. Oh, this is bad. Y'all, I'm just so glad I'm so over this in my life. As you guys see, from a logical standpoint, I don't eat a lot. I'm still very active on the weekends. And I don't feel the need to like binge on my food because everything that I eat over the weekends, I can eat during the week if I choose to. And the funny thing is, I don't choose to. Like, I would have rather actually cooked at home today. But, you know, we just want to like to go out. But I... I mean, it wasn't like I was just so excited about the food and that's how I usually was like when I was dieting I'd be so excited. I get to have this food I just got to eat it all now and as you've seen like I barely even ate my food. I did eat the appetizer, but Yeah, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm in the mirror. Can you tell and I'll see you guys in my next one